Prophet John K. Bradley, the pastor of the church, and our motto is we're loving each other as Christ have loved us. We're located 5717 Southeast 152nd Street in Grove Park, Florida. We want to thank you, amen, for joining us this morning on this last day, amen, of the month of January 2021, amen. And we praise God for the victory that we have in Christ Jesus, amen. We come to praise God and to give God the glory, amen. We praise him for the victory that we have, amen. And I thank God for all the guests that are joining in us with us today, amen. We honor you. Let us go, amen, and praise God, lifting up our hands and giving thanks for the great things that God has done for us, amen, that we shall love him, I say love him with our whole heart, amen, praise the Lord, praise God, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. blessing 
in heavenly places. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will to the praise of the glory of of, great, of his grace wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved in whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sin according to the richness of his grace wherein he has abound toward us in all wisdom and prudence and have made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he has purposed in himself. That in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. Praise God, praise God. A declaration of what the Lord has done, a declaration of how great God is and how much he loved us. As he says, God, amen, verse three, amen. I want to talk about the blessings of God in our lives, the blessings, the blessing, the blessings, amen. There are those who are seeking at the blessings, but I come to tell you today, my friend and brothers, that we are blessed. You don't have to seek them. They have been given. We have been blessed. He said, blessed be God, the Father, of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us. Not going to bless us. God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. The blessings of God are ours. Spiritual blessings, spiritual blessings, the spirit, we're talking about spiritual blessings. They are ours. The reason we struggle, amen, I've been at it long enough, amen, because there is a teaching that I've gone for, amen, and make it appears as though that God has not done his work. And that if we pray real hard and be real dutiful, amen, by some means of measure that God would bless us. But I want you to know the word of God declares, I want you to see it in the script by yourself. That we are blessed with the spiritual blessings of God. The spiritual blessings of God. God has blessed us. We are here today. Let me show you the blessings of God. We are here today listening to each other, enjoying, amen, God's sunshine, enjoying God's earth, amen. It is all because God has blessed us. There were those, amen, who didn't get up this morning, amen, but God has blessed us with another day. This is the blessings of God. Amen. Life is not just natural, but life is spiritual. I'm going to say that again. Life is not just natural, but life is spiritual. Because if you really stop to think, and let's do that just now, every last one of us is going to lose our natural life. And the only thing that we're going to have left is spiritual life. And if we do not lay hold of the spiritual life that God has given us, then we're going to be in sad shape. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Because if you're going to be with God, you got to have light like God. I'm going to say that again. If you're going to be with God, then you got to have life like God. And only God can give life like himself. And that was the purpose of God. Amen. Because in verse 4, he said, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. God planned. Before the foundation of the world that he wanted to have a man that would have dominion, a man that would reign with him. So he said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness and let him have dominion. And that man is Christ Jesus that God has made. And that man has dominion over all that God has made. You remember, amen, in the gospel writers, when God raised him, that body from the grave. He stood on the brink of the grave and they declared, all power is in my hand, both in heaven and in earth. It is that man that God has given dominion. And it is that man that we are a part of. We are a part of that man, just like we are, were a part of the first man that God made called Adam. The first Adam, me, man. God only made two men. He made the first man and he made the second man. The first man was natural. The, the first man was natural. The second man was the Lord of glory, the Lord Jesus Christ, who lived on this earth. He took on a natural body like you and I. And the whole purpose was, amen, so that the blessings of God would be upon us, so that we would be what God would have us to be. So I want to put your mind at ease in this message today and set you on the perfect path to believe in God, that God has made you what he wants you to be in Christ Jesus, through Christ Jesus. Amen. He has adopted us unto children in Christ Jesus. God have we have been reconciled back to God through the man Christ Jesus. This is how God did it. He said, in whom we have redemption through the blood of Jesus. Jesus shed his blood to redeem us because, amen, there was judgment upon us because of man's sin, the first Adam, death was his sentence. Death was his sentence. But we could be redeemed, amen, from death if God could find a man, amen, that would die for us. And Jesus is that man that died for us, amen, so that we could have life like God. So what he did, God came in the person of Jesus Christ, so he took on a life like ours, and died a sinner's death that we might have a life like his. And so the scripture comes today to tell you that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. We are, amen, Ephesians 2 and 8 says that we are his workmanship. Yeah, we are God's masterpiece. Don't let nobody tell you, saints of God, don't let nobody tell you, amen, that you got to pray uh, fast 10 days or 15 days to be what God would have you to be. No, God has made you what he wants you to be. What you and I need to do is to believe God. Even the prophet Isaiah, amen, had the question when he heard about that he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our nature. But he asked the question, Lord, who's going to believe the report? Who's going to believe the report? Amen. There are many today, amen, who are not, amen, are in the dark because they refuse to believe what God has provided. 
Oh, I wish I had somebody to believe with me today. Amen. So that you could come to the light. Amen. God will show himself strong to them that believe. I'm going to give you another example. Amen. The importance of believing God. When, when God told Abraham that he was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And he started at 50. He said, he said Abraham, if I could find 50 righteous men, I'll spare the city. And the countdown went from 50 to 45 to 40 down to one. And he could not find not one man in that city that would believe God. That's why it was destroyed because it was corrupt to the core. God got to find somebody that would believe him. Amen. I tell you today, let us join in together and believe God even for our country. Yes, it is corrupt, but I believe that we have some folk that believe God. That God, amen, shall sustain us. Because remember the prophecy, amen, of Zechariah. In the book of Luke, amen, chapter 1, said, having been delivered from the hand of the enemy, that we would live without fear, in love, in righteousness, in peace, and joy all the days of our life. You got to believe God. You got to believe God. I believe God. I believe God. You say, well, it may take a miracle. That, that'll be a miracle. Amen. My mother believed God. Amen. I came here with birth defect. But my mother looked at me and said, I believe God that God would not allow my baby to grow up like that. And God, by the miracle power of God, amen, God straightened every bone out in my body. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? Because, amen, she dared to believe God. I believe God, amen. I believe God, amen. When you believe God, and I want to say to my brothers, amen, of color, amen, you know what it takes. You know where we came from. We came where we are today because we believe God. It's fine that we do all those other things and, and start this movement, but somebody got to believe God. If God ain't in the movement, where is it going? I'm up for Black Lives Matter. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because Black Lives doesn't matter. I know, but you got to recognize God in the movement. God in the movement. Thank God for Joseph Biden in the White House. But you got to recognize God in the man. You got to believe that God touches heart. That God went direct. Because God said, I have blessed you with all spiritual blessings. And what you got to understand, amen, the way God bless, amen, that God is in the business of showing his mighty power right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. You look at the difficult time, amen, that we're going through, amen. God is going to show, God is showing his mighty power, and he's going to prove it in the midst of his people that God will bless us in the midst of this pandemic. God is going to see us through. He sent the word out earlier, go on in and, and shut yourself until this indignation pass. It will pass. But you got to believe God. You got to believe God. You said, well, I want to know if I'm going to be standing here. Well, let's go back to what Jesus said in the Gospels. Amen. He told the story about a man that built, the two men that built their house. One built this house in the sand, and the other one built his house upon the rock, dug deep, and built his house upon the rock. He said, and then the storm came, and the wind blew, and the rain fell, and beat dimly upon those houses. He said, but the one that was built upon the sand, great was the fall of it, but the one that was founded upon the rock, it took, it stood the storm, and when the storm was over, the house was still standing. I want to encourage you today, amen, to lay hold of the blessings of God that is in you. Great is he that is in you than he that's in the world. you got to believe that the Lord is your keeper. The Lord is the shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not spite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord strengthens thee. The Lord keep thee. And you got to stand firm 
upon that truth because Jesus is that rock that we build upon, that we stand upon. Yes, the builders, amen, rejected it, but now he's the chief cornerstone. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? Glory be to God, amen. And now we line up with Christ Jesus. Set your house in order, brothers and sisters. Set your house in order and believe the Lord your God, hallelujah. So you be established that you can enjoy the blessings of God that God has given you. They are yours for the believing. God has blessed you. Yes, that you would be holy. He has blessed you to be holy. He has blessed you to be righteous. He has blessed you to do the right thing. Yes, it's in you. Listen what the apostle Paul bear witness to. He said, listen, the word is near you. Romans 10 and 8, the word is near you. It's in your mouth and in your heart. That is, if you would confess it. He said, what the heart man believe. So I'm saying to you, the blessings of God is there. If you will believe it. I'm blessed going out and I'm blessed coming in. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Why do you say that? Robert Bradley, why do you say that? Because the Lord said, I am blessed going out and blessed coming in. The Lord said, my sins are forgiven. The Lord said, by his stripes I'm healed. The Lord said, whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. I believe the report. And I want to encourage you to do likewise. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are blessed. Yes, that verse 3, you are blessed of God. You may not look like it. You may not look like it. It doesn't matter what it looked like. But what did God say? He said, you're blessed. I'll tell you the story, amen. Of the fishing trip me and my brothers on. They said I could not go. But mama said I could. It didn't matter what they say. And that's the same example I'm trying to share with you. It doesn't matter what it looked like. It's the one who, who, who is the authority of all. Says you can go. He said you have been blessed. In Christ Jesus. We have been recreated. Oh my God, I wish I had time really to break it down for you, but I don't. Amen. Come back another time. Amen. We'll tell you a little bit more. Amen. But you are blessed. I want you to leave here knowing today that you are blessed of God. Don't you never look at someone else and think that they are blessed more than you. God has blessed all of us. God has blessed all of us. Don't you let nobody, amen, put you down and make you feel like you are less than. We have been blessed. And they are yours. Don't let nobody cheat you out of it. And don't you cheat yourself out of it. Begin to sing your songs, amen, and begin to pray and thank God for the blessings that are upon your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling it now. Yeah, you need, yeah, this is what you pray about. This is what you pray about. You pray, amen, about what God has done. Begin to thank God for what he has done for you, amen, and what you know he has done in your life, amen. Get your Bible out, begin to read it if you don't know, and learn, amen, what he has done for you. For he says in Matthew, amen, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Learn about the blessings of God that's in your life. Amen. And get with somebody. Talk about it. Amen. So you can sanctify the Lord God in your heart. So you be ready to be able to stand in the evil days. Amen. Because at the end of the day, it's in your heart. But you're going to have to confess, believe it and confess it. And the word goes on to say we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? What are you testifying? I'm telling you today I testify that I'm blessed of God. By his stripes I'm healed. I'm blessed of God to stand in these evil days. I'm blessed of God to walk upright before God. I'm blessed of God to give God the glory. I'm blessed of God to call upon the name of the Lord. I'm blessed of God to 
say yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes to your word. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I thank you for your great blessings. That's why, amen, I can clearly say what the psalm is saying, 23, the Lord is my shepherd. And I don't lack because I've been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Let us rejoice in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us love God forever. Hallelujah. I will love him forever. Glory because of his blessings and his great love in our lives. Father, we thank you. Your goodness and your mercy. Hallelujah. Just a minute. Just give me just one more minute. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me thank God for his goodness and his mercy. It's amazing. Glory to God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Be blessed, my sisters and brothers. Be